from Dan Peak on WLIX. That's called The Star from On This Christmas Night. It's seven minutes after two o'clock, and good afternoon. Lloyd Parker back with you on the radio with the best in contemporary Christian music. We'll have a lot more for you. Some Christmas music coming your way this afternoon right after this. It's a tough life inside the walls of prison. But you know life can be just as tough outside those walls. 242-3450 is the number to Christian Encounter Ministries, an organization offering a program that helps ex-offenders to spiritually and morally readjust to a meaningful, productive life outside the walls of prison. It's a chance for former inmates to regain a sense of responsibility and self-respect through job training and possible placement in various trades and skills like printing. CEM offers this trade as a practical learning experience in the tough world of business, along with developing a good understanding of the Christian ministry itself. Why not participate? Because CEM really needs your help. 242-3450 is the number you can call for further details about Christian Encounter Ministries. And just for your call of concern, receive as a gift the CEM Informative Fact Pamphlet and CEM Complimentary Notepad by calling 242-3450. New Horizons is still giving away plenty of free contemporary Christian demo records. All you have to do to get yours is purchase $20 of merch Dies from New Horizons in Smithtown and Corum. Just mention WLIX and you'll have your choice of a free top contemporary Christian demo record. And you'll find plenty of top albums to choose from by your favorite artists. New Horizons Christian Bookshop, 6 Middle Country Road in Corum, and 33 Route 111 in Smithtown. Get your free demo record today. God bless you, everybody. This is Pastor Holt Souser speaking. Please accept my personal invitation to be with me right here Mondays through Fridays at 945 for the Gospel Revival Hour broadcast. And then beginning Saturday, December the 6th from 1030 to 11 a.m. every Saturday morning for a special 30-minute Gospel Revival Hour broadcast each and every Saturday morning. Until I come your way by way of radio, Pastor Holt's house of praying, may God bless you in Jesus' name, amen and amen. You know, one of the hazards of winter driving is carbon monoxide poisoning. That's right, carbon monoxide is an odorless, colorless, tasteless gas. It has no class. Symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning are headaches and drowsiness. Have a mechanic check your car's exhaust system for leaks. Always drive with a car window partly open. Just a little crack, if nothing else. And remember to drive defensively. Anticipate the unexpected from the other driver. That's a holiday safe driving tip from your Suffolk County Traffic Safety Board and WLIX. Mm -hmm. Ten and a half after two, Lloyd Parker, WLIX. This is Phil Kagey. Just a little boy in the town, town, town. That little tune, that's Chris Christian. Now I see the man. Good tune for you from WLIX. And right now, 17 minutes after 2. Doug James going to be by momentarily with some news, weather, and sports. Everywhere that I go. Good afternoon, it's 30 degrees, I'm Doug James with news at 2.20. A Boeing 727 jetliner remains parked at MacArthur Airport today after landing there last night. The plane, which is owned by Kuteba Alganim of Kuwait, was reported stolen from Tiger Air Service in Burbank, California yesterday afternoon. The plane was in for alterations when it was removed from the facility by subterfuge without payment for those alterations. A pilot who flew Algonim's plane from California to Long Island is reported to be in London, England today. Algonim's lawyer was not immediately available for comment on claims that the plane was taken without payment for Tiger's services. Algonim lives in Manhattan and owns a summer home here in Lloyd Harbor. Police are jet sitting that craft while the investigation continues. State Department spokesman John Tratner says some of the hostages in Iran are seriously ill and some are being kept in prison. He says that information comes in letters from the hostages. We'll have details on that story coming up a little later on. 
President-elect Reagan's transition team is preparing to announce four more cabinet-level selections in Washington this afternoon. But once again, Reagan will not attend the announcement. He's in Los Angeles. The Abscam bribery trial of Florida Congressman Richard Kelly recessed for the Christmas holiday a day earlier than scheduled today. Federal Judge William Bryant suffered from the flu, said he was too sick to continue and recess the trial until next Monday. Fire officials are looking into a fire that heavily damaged the La Baron restaurant in Jericho early this morning. A blaze which was first reported at around 2 o'clock took two hours to extinguish. A business above the restaurant was also damaged. Four firefighters were taken to Central General Hospital in Plainview, treated for minor injuries and released. No fatalities were reported and the cause of the blaze is under investigation. Early Saturday morning, there was a fire at a home on Locust Lane in South Hole. In that blaze, one fatality was reported. The police have identified the victim as 62-year-old Dorothy Lucy, who is the owner of that home. Her body was discovered in a basin and was believed to have fallen from the first floor when that flooring collapsed. The body of an assistant horse trainer was found yesterday at Belmont Racetrack in Elmont. The victim, 33-year-old Joseph Melnick, was found by an employee and taken to the Nassau County Morgue for an autopsy. Police don't believe foul play was involved. Melnick was a resident of Elmont. We'll be back with the sports and the weather right after this. This is how we youngsters feel. When it comes to the Christmas feel. They're designed by kids, you see. And they're designed for you and me. To keep us healthy all year round. To make our breathing very sound. They fight pollution, cough, and choke. And seals don't like tobacco smoke. Make sure to answer your Christmas seal letter. It helps make breathing better and better. Please, answer your Christmas seal letter now. And generously. It's a matter of life and breath. In sports action, the New York Islanders blitzed the Chicago Blackhawks 9 nothing yesterday. In the NBA, both the Knicks and the Nets had the night off. And in NFL action, the Oakland Raiders destroyed the New York Giants, defeating them 33-17. WLIX Long Island weather, partly cloudy this afternoon with a high of 29-34. to Tonight, partly cloudy, not quite as cold, with lows 19 inland to 28 by the shore. Tomorrow, lots of clouds, breezy and milder with a high 35 to 40. Tomorrow night, there's a chance of a shower with temperatures around 30. And the preview for Christmas Day, sunny, windy, and very cold with a high of 25 to 30. We'll wait and see. It's 30 degrees. That's news. I'm Doug James. tune for you. That's right, Andrew wrote that. Heavy sang it, made a big hit out of it, and titled her Christmas album. Now, come on, ring those bells. Good tune for you from WLIX. 2.33 is our time. Lloyd Parker with you with the best in contemporary Christian music. And uh, we've got some good Christmas carols. We're going to be filtering a lot more of those in to our uh, musical portion of our programming. And you'll be hearing a lot of Christmas music for the next week or so. So you keep listening to WLIX. You're bound to hear your favorite Christmas carol. Ken and Mary at Mobile Bible Bookstore wish you and your family a Merry Christmas. Come on down to the new mobile. Check out their large supply of Christmas cards and word Christmas albums like Evie's Come On Ring Those Bells and Christmas with the Imperials. Mobile has Bibles, reference books, and commentaries, including Tyndale's new illustrated Bible dictionary. What a great gift idea. Mobile Bible Bookstore, 135 East Main Street in East Islip. Phone 581-3202. They're open every night till 9 p.m. Christmas Eve till 5. After spending many years in the desert, imagine how Moses felt standing on Mount Nebo looking into the promised land. Now you can share this experience on the trip of a lifetime, a one-week tour of the Holy Land. Visit the cities of Jericho, Bethany, Bethlehem, Nazareth, and of course, Jerusalem. See the Wailing Wall, the Garden of Gethsemane, the Jordan River, and so much more. This tour, sponsored by GAP Travel Agency, leaves February 14, 1981. 
This tour is all inclusive with round trip flights, first class hotels, three meals a day, and all tips and taxes. And it's all for the unbelievably low price of $949 per person. For more information, phone GAP Travel Agency at 822-7610. GAP Travel Agency, 576 Stewart Avenue in Bethpage. Whenever you need a booking for an airline, cruise, hotel, motel, or car rental, call GAP Travel Agency, a Christian business, at 822-7610. And does this describe you? You're a little out of sorts, maybe a little touchy, vaguely dissatisfied with yourself and others. Probably what you need is a friend, a special, wise someone who understands your problem and can help you discover a beautiful new dimension in your life. Dr. Donald Ewing is such a person, and you can meet him each Sunday at 9 a.m. on the Trinity Pulpit Broadcast right here at WLIX. See for yourself what a difference a trusted friend can make in putting things back together again on a spiritual foundation. That's Trinity Pulpit. Good broadcast for you. 2.35 is our time from WLIX. From Young Messiah, the New London Corral. <laughs> 